Welcome back. So after a few weeks, I've finally received FSD version 12.6.3. This is the latest version for hardware three vehicles. My previous version was 12.6.1 and it was full of issues that plagued the driving experience, including really painfully slow or broken left turns along with really curious speed management. For all the gains it made on the highway driving, it took a couple steps back on the main roads. I'm just cleaning my car here today to make sure I have a clean car with clean cameras. We're going to test out FSD on both city roads and the highway to see if things have improved since 12.6.1. Let's give it a go. So to start off, we're going to be leaving the car wash here. Uh, FSD is going to have to turn right to get out of the car wash and then immediately get into the left turn lane. Right now I've got no traffic to the left right now, so I'm really paying attention to how slow FSD is taking right now to get onto the main road. Check it out there. Again, no vehicles coming from the left, and look how slowly it's doing that turn. Check that out. We still have some problems here, and it's going to get immediately into that left turn lane. Look how slow it is. Now I know I've got a red light coming up here, but it's got to get into that left lane a lot faster than what it is right now. So look at that, it's moved me into the left turn lane and then the signal turned off. And I am gonna move this into a hurry mode just to see if that's gonna be one of the issues, but that was painfully slow. Now take a look as well. This is another issue that's been coming on. You see how the car's moving forward even though I still have a red light? Ever since 12.6.1, I found that the car's been creeping up before the light's been turning, which is a little bit disconcerting, so I don't really like that. All right, now we're doing our left turn. I get a sense of this turn. It looks like the speed is okay, but trust me, it's a lot slower than it used to be before. I've got a vehicle that's there behind me. Now it's got to get into the right lane. It's signaling, but it's not making the move. It's now, look, now it just abandons that move into the right lane. I don't know why it's doing that. Again, there is more than enough space with the car behind me to go do that. Now it's going to try again to get me into the right lane. And, uh,. Not much confidence there in its decision making. I don't know what's going on. You can see the box on my screen. It says, you know, the it may be impaired, the, uh, the driving on FSD because of weather conditions. But other than it being, you know, pretty cold out there, it's uh, completely clear. So there should be no issues uh, from the weather that would be impeding the driving experience. Again, moving into the right lane. Check out my speed on this road. Look, see how it's slowing down there? It's like so slow, so much slower than before. And again, I've got a car that's behind me. It's just, it's just painful. I feel bad for that guy. Now, okay, now we're gonna be getting onto the highway. So let's see if that experience is uh, any better, if the speed management is a bit better. So one thing I did notice on version 12.6.1, because we do have that unified highway stack now, was that the merging and the highway driving characteristics were much improved over previous versions. That was generally the only thing I, I really liked from the previous version. All right. Decent acceleration, that's good. Good merging well in advance. So again, like 12.6.1, that merging was very good. And again, it gets me out of that lane, which is great. It gets me into the middle lane, and now it's gonna push me over to the left lane. Now I'm okay with that, but it's gotta uh, make sure it does the speed properly if it's gonna keep me into the fast lane. Again, I am in hurry mode. There is an HOV lane to the left, so I'm gonna wait for that to open up to see if it's gonna put me into that lane. Uh, in previous versions of FSD, it had no issues putting me into the FSD lane, uh, sorry, into the HOV lane. And uh, we'll just speed up here. And again, I haven't, I don't have any settings that are saying to avoid HOV lanes. Okay, it's opened up. Yeah, it wasn't moving at all. Didn't signal at all. HOV lane's about to come to an end, so, or the entrance is, so I'll just have to force it into there. So that's too bad. Again, that's another issue since uh, it's moved into the 12.6 versions here of FSD. And as you can see, I need to get out of those lanes because you see how fast the, the traffic is moving there on the left. Um, so I am watching the speed right now. I actually set this car to go about 120 just to see if it would do that. And again, I've got no cars that are in front of me right now. And check out the speed. It's like 115. It's maybe slowly inching up there, but it should be doing it a lot faster than it is. It should do a better job with that. But again, man, I'm not complaining too much. We'll check out that guy. You can tell like, he was frustrated. He was in the HOV lane. Again, it's the HOV lane, it's not the Autobahn, and my speed did pick up now to 122, so, you know, that was good, that was good. But it took a long time to get to that speed, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna speed up the camera again, and again, we're gonna take a look to see. 
All right, now keep your eye on the speedometer and see how it uh, how it progresses there. Again, I've got this right now set up to go over 120. And you can see slowly the speed is just going down. It's not getting anywhere close to what I wanted to go. But, you know, I thought, I don't have any cars right behind me right now, so let's just see how long it takes to maybe get back up to the 120 again. But if you look, it's just going down and down. Like, I'm now down at 104. Like, I set this to go about 20 faster than what it is right now. I do not know what's going on with this. It makes no sense. It's, it looks like it's painfully slow right now. And it makes it almost undrivable. If I cannot trust the speed profiles on this version of FSD, then it is. It's almost uh, undrivable. First, you have the issues with the turns. And then you have the issues where you can't really trust the speed that it's going to drive you at. And uh, basically what I'm going to have to do is disengage because I'm going to be holding up traffic continuously again. So it's very, very frustrating. What I'm going to do is I disable FSD, hit the accelerator to get me back to 116. I'm going to enable FSD again. Let's see what happens to the speed, see if it holds it this time. Maybe it was just a little blip. Again, take a look at the speedometer. No cars in front of me. And look at it. It's dropping. Nothing in front of me. 106, 105. Very frustrating. Which is too bad because, again, I can't drive like that on FSD. And if I can't trust it that it can manage the speed properly, then it's not drivable. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed up the camera a bit. I am going to go on to the next highway there. I'm going to try one more merge just to see how it, uh, how it functions. Okay, we're coming to the end. Just look on the map there. We're bending around. Okay, I'm going to activate it again. This is always a bit of a tricky merge. He's got a lot of fast traffic always coming in off the highway here. Oh, okay, very good. Once again, very proactive with the merge. Doesn't wait till the last second. Does a good job. So again, the best part of the latest versions of uh, 12.63 and 12.61 uh, where the highway merges. Again, let's see if it's going to move over one more lane. And it does a good job with that. And let's just run it for a few seconds just to see how it's going to manage the speed. Again, I've got it set off at a very high speed. And you can see it's got about 99. It's keeping safe distance between myself and the car in front. It could go a little bit faster. It's getting a little bit faster there. Again, I've got it in hurry mode. I'm trying to see if it's just going to swerve out into a faster lane, but it's not doing that right now. Again, slowing down you can see the cars are pulling away from me all the cars are pulling away from me okay it's unfortunate so uh, what I decided to do is just drive manual for a while because the FSD was just way too frustrating but again I'm coming off the highway again I'm gonna try it as I get off the highway it's activated right now and I'm gonna see how it does the city streets I've got a left turn here so I want to see how it manages the left turn and uh, the speed after that I'm gonna give it one more shot signaling there slowing down is good wasn't too apprehensive there now the camera's gonna start let's see what happens here in the left turn I've got a vehicle behind me see that you see how slow that left turn is so much slower than before and I you know what I would I'm gonna have to do is I have to almost disengage because I'm keeping an eye on the person behind me making sure he doesn't rear end me just going way too slow and check out my speed right now like I'm just that's it I'm done I'm disengaging yeah I should be driving so much faster it was just plodding away there just barely over 50 it's just so slow just painful painful so that's it for this drive like I don't even know if I need to do f other drives on 1263 because it is just a, a, a big mess right now now, I've, I've read from some of my comments, someone said maybe I should readjust my camera. So feel free to leave a comment if you think I should go uh, do a reset of my cameras. I don't know if that's going to help at all. If you've done a reset of your cameras and it's helped your FSD performance, let me know. But right now, 12.63 is just undrivable the way I see it. It's even worse than 12.61. Again, I've just done a couple of drives, but I don't need to do more. If it can't function properly doing turns and it can't manage to speed appropriately, then what can it do? So that's unfortunate. Anyways, leave your thoughts below. I really appreciate it. Thank you for spending some time with me today. You drive safe. Take care.